students of Mount Carmel Central School are presenting a project based on auto irrigation system. The objectives of this project are introduction of modern technology in improving agriculture in the locality, emphasizing eco-friendly techniques to enhance water conservation, conservation of electricity to the society, to increase productivity in green revolution which benefits farmers, to increase awareness among farmers, to reduce the consumption of creating awareness among farmers, to reduce the consumption of electricity and save the bill amount. Materials required are Arduino Uno R3, Relay, Moisture Sensor, Controller, Battery, Switch. The secondary components of our project are Jumper Cables and a Connector. Now, let us learn about our components. Arduino Uno R3 Arduino Uno R3 is the main component of our project. It's a programmable device that can hold a program according to the need of a project. A relay A relay is an electromagnetic switch. It is used as an application to on or off a circuit. According to the signal given by the Arduino board. Soil Moisture Sensor Soil Moisture Sensor measures the volumetric water content in the soil. We are also using a controller to adjust the sensitivity of the sensor. DC water pump. This is a 12 volt water pump that is used for irrigation system in this project. Now, let us learn about the physical connections of our project. There are four ports in the relay. The VCC, input 1, input 2 and the ground. Step 1. We connect the VCC to the 5 volt output in the Arduino. Next, we connect the ground port to the ground port in the Arduino. Then, we see that there are two ports, input 1 and input 2. We take the input 1 and connect it to the required port. According to our program, the input 1 goes to port number 13. Next, we connect the moisture sensor to the Arduino. For that, we have to connect the moisture sensor with the controller. Again, there are four ports in the controller. First, we connect the VCC port to the 5 volt in the Arduino. Then we connect the ground to the ground. Next we are going to connect the ground port in the moisture controller, sensor controller. Now we are going to connect the sensor's ground port to the ground port in the Arduino.
Next, we see that there are two more codes that is the AO and the PO. Now we take the AO code. Next, we are going to connect the AO or the analog output port to the required port that is port 8 according to the program. Next, we are going to split the connector like this. So that it can be connected with the relay. We take one wire so that we can connect it to the normally open and common port. We take one wire and connect it to the normally open. Next, we take the other wire and connect it to the common. Now, we have finished connecting the connector to the relay. Now, we are going to upload the program into our Arduino board. Now, we have finished uploading our program into the Arduino. Let us now see how it works. As we can see that the moisture sensor is kept in the wet part of the soil and it is sensing moisture and so the relay is off. When I change it to the dry part, the pump on and it waters the fields. When it is wet again, the pump off because the Arduino sends a message to the relay to off the DC pump. We now explain the working principle of this project. When I remove the moisture sensor from the fields, it sends a signal to the Arduino that the field is dry, which then sends the signal to the relay to on the pump, which then irrigates the fields. When I put it back into the fields, you can see that the pump offs because it is sensing the wetness of the soil. Implementing this advanced technology, agriculture will help the farmers to reduce labor work and at the same time increases the yield. Viewers, we are sure you agree with this project. Thank you.